Hey everyone, welcome to Job Forum. My name is Kimberly, and if you are a church or a faith-based organization, I'm really excited to share with you how you can use Job Forum to streamline some of your processes. So if you're ready to make prayer requests, email list, sign up forms, so much simpler, let's jump over to the dashboard. First thing we're gonna do is go up to that top left. We're gonna create a form, and I'm so excited to share with you guys the tons of templates that are at your disposal. It'll also kind of drum up some ideas for you to see how you can use JotForm for your organization. So in the middle, I'm gonna click on Use Template, and up at the top where it says Search in All Templates, I'm just gonna type in Church. And I'm gonna hit this magnifying glass to Search and we have over 400 templates available for you to use. So let's just give it a quick scroll and see what we can find. So we have a membership form, we have a donation, you can also use it for tithing, we have pledges, registrations for different activities or organizations that you have going on, we have a questionnaire, attendance is a really great one, Maybe you have a choir and you want to do a sign up for the choir, or maybe you're doing a summer camp and you want to see who would like to participate in the summer camp. There are so many different ways. And the really cool thing about this is if you are a nonprofit, you get 50% off of JotForm. 50%. That is really exciting. Oh, here's that church camp. So now that we've gotten a good idea of how other churches and faith-based organizations use JotForm, let's go up to the top and let's create our own. because. I want to create a donation or like a tithing form. So let's look at how we can include 30 plus pay integrations that we have. So we want their full name, their address, and maybe their email. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all of these not required because if someone doesn't want to let me know who it is that is tithing or giving this donation, I want to make sure to keep that anonymous. And another thing that we can do is, and this could be its form all on its own, is um, we could do a prayer request. So that way, if they want to have a prayer request, we can do that and we can rename the form. All right, so let's go to the payments over on the element side, the middle one. And then we have again, 30 plus integrations, PayPal, Square. I'm gonna go ahead and choose PayPal. You'll choose the one that's gonna fit you best. Now for this, it's gonna automatically choose the payment type to be sell products. But for this, we're wanting to just take donations. So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to change it to either user defined amount, which means they get to tell you how much they want to donate, or you can do collect donations. I'm also going to change this to donation amount. All right, so you can see the payment types underneath. We can either pay with a debit card or a credit card or with PayPal, and you can turn these on and off over here. I would highly suggest having both in case some of your members do not have PayPal. But that is pretty much it. It is super, super simple. Again, there are so many ways that you can utilize JotForm for your faith-based organization. And something else too is on the thank you page. Um, one of my favorite settings with JotForm is a thank you page and having them redirect to an external link after submission. So if your church has maybe something coming up or maybe you want them to go to a specific place on social media that your church utilizes or just maybe just the, the church's website, you can put that here so that way whenever they're finished filling out their form, it takes them there. So if you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm for your church or your faith-based organization, please let us know down below in the comments. Or if you already use JotForm for your church or faith-based organization, let us know down below how you do so.